This video discusses how you can implement multi-factor authentication in WhatsApp Gold by means of an OpenID provider. Many organizations want to enhance their IT security and user experience with features like single sign-on and multi-factor authentication. Please be aware that WhatsApp Gold does not currently provide a built-in method for multi-factor authentication, or MFA. However, you do have the ability to set up an external identity provider to interface with WhatsApp Gold and configure that identity provider to use MFA. WhatsApp Gold supports external authentication using the OpenID Connect protocol. At the time of this video, the OpenID providers certified to function with WhatsApp Gold are Windows ADFS, Auth0, Okta, and Azure AD. You can find the current list of supported providers in the WhatsApp Gold product compatibility guide located at docs.progress.com under WhatsApp Gold Additional Resources. These providers offer multi-factor authentication as part of their solution. MFA happens entirely in the configuration of the secure token server. No MFA configuration is performed within WhatsApp Gold. Please refer to your OpenID provider's documentation for assistance in setting up MFA. Progress does not provide technical support for MFA and secure token service configuration within customer environments. After you have integrated your OpenID provider with WhatsApp Gold, and then set up multi-factor authentication within the OpenID provider, your end user's process for logging into WhatsApp Gold will be similar to that shown in this video, which is for Microsoft Azure AD. When a user opens WhatsApp Gold on the login page, they will see a link to log in with OpenID. After clicking this link, they are prompted to sign in to the OpenID provider. This sign-in is considered the first factor of authentication. In this example, the user can enter their email address, phone number, or Skype credential in the Sign In field. Or, they can click the Sign In Options link to see more choices. Here are options for facial or fingerprint recognition, PIN or security key input, or GitHub credentials. These options will vary depending on the configuration within the OpenID provider. After the user enters their email address or other credential, they see a second dialog informing them that they will need to sign in using the second factor of authentication. When the user clicks Send Notification, the second authentication request is generated. Again, this action depends on the MFA options you configured for the provider. In this example, the user receives an approval request through the Microsoft Authenticator app on their smartphone. Here's a different example where the user must enter a number in their Authenticator app. If they can't access the app, clicking the link allows other alternatives such as entering a verification code or texting or calling the user's phone for verification. The user might even see a third factor of authentication in their Authenticator app, such as fingerprint validation. These examples show the wide variety of options that may be available through your OpenID provider. When the additional forms of authentication are successful, the OpenID provider may optionally prompt to keep the user signed in on this application. Finally, the user is logged in to WhatsApp Gold. To reiterate, Progress does not provide technical support for the authentication service configuration in customer environments. We suggest working with your identity provider and their documentation for guidance in setting up your multi-factor authentication. Thank you for watching this video on how you can implement multi-factor authentication with an OpenID provider in WhatsApp Gold.